What is the broken window fallacy? It all starts when a hooligan decides to throw a brick through the local baker's window. The community gathers at the bakery to discuss what has happened. I feel bad for that poor baker. He's lost a window. It's true, but if you stop and think about it, maybe it's not all that bad. After all, the baker does have to repair his window, which means the glazier will now have work to do. After getting paid, the glazier will probably spend his new income on some of your crops. Then you'll have income to spend on even more goods and services. You're right. The hooligan has actually stimulated the economy. Imagine how many more jobs would have been created if the hooligan had done more damage. Have you all lost your minds? Haven't you read Frederick Bastiat or Henry Hazlitt? You're only focusing on what's seen. The money I will spend repairing the broken window, while、well, you ignore what's unseen. The money I would have spent on a new suit. If I had bought my new suit from the tailor, he would have also spent his new income on some of your crops. So you still would have had more income to spend on other goods and services. The only difference is that I would have had both my window and a new suit, whereas now I only have a window. This hooligan has cost me, and thus our community. A new suit. The story of the hooligan shows us that physical damage destroys wealth. After all, if the hooligan's act actually did stimulate the economy, then society would have been better off if he had destroyed the sign, the building, and the rest of the town. But the broken window fallacy is much more prevalent than it may first seem. In fact, it remains at the core of mainstream policymaking. For example, when the government claims to create jobs by financing public works programs, such as construction, it does so at the expense of its citizens in the form of either higher taxes or inflation. The citizens would have spent their tax dollars on other goods and services, like refrigerators or surfboards or movie tickets, which would have increased job growth in those industries. Because these goods will never be produced, however, these potential jobs remain unseen. But they are no less real and no less important as the jobs that we do see. So, if you ever hear of the stimulative effects of wartime spending, tariffs, or stimulus bills, know that this is merely our old friend, the broken window fallacy, dressed in new clothing and grown fat beyond recognition. <laughs>